Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see the discrete alarm method by using a interfacing with the PLC. Okay, in our previous session, we have seen in virtual simulation. Now we are going to interface with the PLC and going to do the discrete alarm. Okay, so for that, I am going to get help from three tags. One is our lamp which we are getting from PLC and this start and stop fine this is i0.6 i0.7 and this is q0.1 the same thing i have connected in our plc program got it so this is we have already seen and now for discrete we need to create a alarm right so what is the alarm means whenever we are going to start this uh, start switch this lamp will be on so I am going to create an alarm that lamp is on. Fine. So for that I am going to discrete alarm page. Here I am creating alarm like lamp is on. Fine. And number is 1. Class or error or you can choose anything whatever you want. Let it be as default. And trigger tag. So if you click on trigger tag we are not getting the tag we created. What is the tag we want? This one no. Lamp. Correct. This is the one I want. But this is not coming over there. Okay. So what I can do means. I can give one memory tag. Okay. So I will just give lamp from PLC. Got it. So it is from PLC. And I am going to give this as integer. Okay. And I am going to give this as a address. MW0. Got it. So I am going to create one dummy tag. And, and that is from PLC. I am giving the data type as integer. And it is giving the address. I am taking the address from memory. Fine. Now go to the discrete alarm. Choose the tag. When you are choosing the tag lamp from PLC, it is giving you the trigger address. Okay. And this is the address we need to use it in a PLC. Because in PLC, Q0.1 is the bool data type. Right. So, I cannot be able to trigger the tag from Q0.1. So, what I can do means, I can create a trigger address, this M1.0. I can put that in a parallel to this q0.1 so what is that mean q0.1 and the trigger address what is the trigger address we are having here m1.0 so m1.0 right so q0.1 and m1.0 both are having the same condition so whenever q0.1 on m1.0 is also on so because of 10.1 m1.0 on we can able to trigger the discrete alarm interfacing with PLC. Got it? So apart from that, nothing we have done. We have already tagged this to switch start. And this is lamp. Fine. So everything is same. So everything is same. Except this trigger address. Got it? Whenever you are getting the trigger address, that you need to include in the PLC. Fine, I will go online. So, better I will turn off this. I will turn off this, okay. Fine. So, we will go online in SCADA. Fine. Go to alarm page. I am going to turn on Q I0.6. See, whenever I turn on the I0.6, my lamp is on, alarm is triggered. This lamp is on, triggered is coming from PLC. Correct. So, we have interfaced our program with the PLC, right? So, this is how we need to do the discrete alarm while we are interfaced with the PLC. Got it? Right? So, it is exactly same as 
or virtual simulation but one different thing is this trigger address got it shall we do the same thing for some other uh, question so i'll just go offline and i'm going to create one more I'll take one more network, one output, right? So I'm going to give I0.1 here and this is Q0.0, fine, got it? So whenever this Q0.0 is on, I want a alarm. So for that, you can create one tag here. Let it be as a motor, okay? Motor from plc and this is from plc this is same in and this is taking the memory address right so when you are going to discrete alarm and creating motor is on fine and uh, this is you are going to choose this one motor from plc okay it is giving a new trigger address see m3.1 and that is the one you need to use over here I'm going to put a parallel coil and I'm going to give us M3.1. Right. So let's go online. Fine. So I'll switch off this. Right. Go online over here. This is lamp is on. Okay. What is the next input we have given here? It is I0.1. Right. So let's turn on I0.1 and check whether motor 1 is on or not. So when you are turning on I0.1, your motor, motor is on, is alarm is also triggered. Right. So by using trigger address only, we can be able to create a discrete alarm when we are interfaced with PLC. Got it? So, without a trigger address, we cannot be able to create a discrete alarm. So, we will meet you in the next session.